Well, hello, hello, my sweetie. This is Candy Girl, and welcome back to my sweet little channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so very much for being here and rocking with me. Okay, so we have, um, I guess, a taste test video going on here. So I got some interesting sodas from my deli, and I thought they were Korean, but I don't really know what language it is, because my... It says product of Japan, but to me it doesn't look Japanese, but what do I know? I thought it was Korean. I don't know, because I had my roommate who is Korean look at it, and he said that... I don't know, he said something. It was a weird explanation. But anyway, I saw these interesting sodas at the deli section in my area, and I thought they were interesting. They are called... They are called I didn't do any research on it, by the way. Kimura. Kimura. Fun Marble Drink. Raymune. Carbonated Soft Drink. And this one says a mu uh, original flavor, whatever that means. Maybe it's like a vanilla-ish, I don't know. This one is called Melon. That one really got my attention. I love melon flavor stuff, especially alcohol. And then this one is Orange. I think those are the only three they had. So I thought they were pretty interesting. It's a very heavy glass bottle. Interesting shape. It looks like owl eyes. I don't know. Very, very weird. Any of you understand what's going on with this language would be great to know like i said i didn't do any research on it i bought it i put it in the fridge it's been there for like a week and a half or whatever so i didn't really do any research on it i wanted to help me taste them get them out the fridge but it says japanese J J product of japan so there we go the information on the back it's one bottle of course 200 milliliters let's see how much sweet sugar is in it um 19 grams of carbs, 18 grams of sugar. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. It's very light colored for the um, the color of the orange soda. Definitely not like any of the orange sodas we're familiar with. So I'm going to get my little uh, shot glass, which I had in the freezer, to taste them. <laughs> I had it in the freezer. So, yeah, I'm going to, I don't want to drink it directly from the bottle in case I don't like it and I could give it to my roommate. So, yeah, let's get these open, shall we? And let's start with the original flavor. And let me actually read what the ingredients are, if it actually says it. How to open, peel off seal and lift off green cap, push down the center to release the opener. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's a fancy way of opening it, too, as a matter of fact. All right, so let's see how we do this. Wow, and look at the cap. It's like very, very interesting. I don't even know how much these were. <laughs> I just I just put it in my shopping cart because whatever. Okay, I'm peeling off the thing here. I have some marker on my hand. I had red marker. It's hard to get the red marker off. Whoa! Well, okay, cap just fell right off. Here it is, very interesting. Wow, okay, and now here is that. <laughs> what is going on here? This is strange, like I don't get it. All right, what do I do now? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like how do you, how do you open this? What is going on? And this is like some weird, the glass, what? I don't get it. Let me read the directions because I took the seal off of that. So it's saying to do this, okay? If you guys find this, this is just strange. So I peeled the plastic off and now while I was peeling off this, this popped off at the same time and it doesn't look like it's any type of screw cap. Like, how do you... <laughs> this is so weird. And then you just pull it off and then it looks like it says push something down what <laughs> so it says okay I took that off we're left with this right and then the directions I push cap down the center to release opener place opener on top of the bottle and press down firmly with your palm for five seconds to dislodge the stopper remove green topper from bottles <laughs> what <laughs> What the hell did I get myself into? So here's the directions, right? Okay, this is gonna be kind of hard to do. 
All right, I push down like that. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> what? How do I open it? I don't know what to do. I seriously don't know what the I'm doing. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> what are they doing here with this soda? I just want to open it. Like I seriously, I can't get it out. I don't know. We might have to pass on the orange. Let's, I mean, on the original. Let's see if maybe, I don't know. It's so weird. Like, how do you do this? I don't get it. Like, why would they make it hard? I don't, maybe <laughs> I did something. Look, I'm seriously struggling with this. I'm not really sure what's going on. I think that you're supposed to push this inside there. To, oh my God. I did hear. Let's see if some of the soda came out because I, so is something happening here. Really? Well, okay, I just did it. You're supposed to take this thing and push that in there. And that little piece of something goes inside there, which I'm not very happy with. But now the little glass thing is out. And we're going to try this. Wow, you guys. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Anyway, let's try this soda. All right, here's a little shot of the orange soda that I struggle to open. Wow. It tastes like... It doesn't have... I don't know how to explain it. It kind of tastes like a sort of flat seltzer water with like some sunkiss mixed in. I don't know. Let me try it again. Very weird. It's not that bubbly either. Oh, I see. Guys, look at this. So that little glass piece that we pushed inside that I struggled with, right? It stays contained in the top part so that it doesn't touch the soda in the bottom. You see the little glass ball? This is very weird. <laughs> this is very strange. Like, why did they make me struggle? That's okay. That's kind of cool so that if the glass shatters, it's not... Okay, interesting. I don't know. It's orangey, but it doesn't really have that much... I don't know. Very interesting. But, okay, that's the orange. So, I had to put this on top. And then this little thing in the middle, push it really hard down inside. And that pushed the little glass ball inside. And there is where the glass ball is contained as you see okay interesting okay so we did that one let me rinse out the little um shot glass now that i know what to do i have to use all my strength to open it let's get the original flavor open shall we so now i have to do the same thing with this this one is broken where's the original one uh, maybe I can still use it. I don't know. I don't know where it is. <laughs> okay. So maybe we could try to do it with this. We shall see. Okie dokes, I did it. So that's how it works. You have to fight to open your damn soda. But I did it. I pushed the little I pushed this thing in. And now we're doing So you put this on top of here and I had to do this on top of my counter, that's why I couldn't do it on video. And when you push that in, this little piece pushes that weird ball inside. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go with the original. So that looks like kind of like a sparkling water, not like a seltzer water. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Um, the original flavor, I don't know what to say of it. I don't taste any vanilla or anything like that. It kind of just tastes like, like a plain sparkling water with sugar in it. So there's no specific vanilla or any type of anything like that. But I mean, it's not horrible, but it's just kind of boring. 
I just can't believe that bowl thing inside like that, but okay. All right, so that was that. That is the Raymoon Original. Here is the Raymoon Orange. And now we're going to do the melon flavor. Okay. So, and you can see the difference between the one that I used already, the cap that I pushed it in, and then this, the, the new one that I just took off of the melon flavor. So it's still attached. So apparently, I'm just going to lay that there. You take this, and we have to push pretty hard. That, you push this thing inside, and that goes in there. And that stopper thing there pushes this glass ball inside to where the, the thing, the little ball thing sits. Let me go do it now. It's opened. It's opened. Okay, so we're going to pour that. There goes the little volleyball and here is the melon oh i hurt my thumb doing that because i was pushing it really hard and it's not easy okay guys here we go melon wow look at that green color all right here is a shot of melon soda the melon is pretty good but I love melon flavor stuff. So yeah. Yeah, I like the melon. The melon is good. It's not very strong as far as the bubbles go. It looks like it, but it's not very strong. Okay. So these were kind of annoying, but fun to still try out. I mean, you get a workout. I hurt my thumb. <laughs> but they're not bad. So if you see these weird... Raymune carbonated soft drinks in your store. Maybe there's other flavors. I don't know. But you can go try it out. And like I said, here are the cap. It's just a weird system to push. Maybe if you're stronger than me, you can just push it open easier. But it was still a fun little thing to try. Guys, thank you so much for watching my little taste test of the Raymune carbonated uh, Asian soft drink. Go look for yours. Take care. Stay sweet. I'll see you soon.